<laughs> you know, it occurs to me that a week ago, if you put your finger in somebody's face in this state, and nobody, they, you might be offended, you might say, get your finger out of my face, you know, or you might just carry on the conversation with a little of this. If it was a teacher and a student, the student would know, well, I'm in trouble now. But now it's all political. President of the United States, the governor of the state of Arizona, with this business going on. And we say, well, what does that business really mean? What in the world does that mean? There it is, the international, yes, international, les presse, uh, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're carrying it in yes, France. Yes. And du Spiegel, <laughs> yeah. hey, was sind wir heute mit Poitou? Was ist los? <laughs> <laughs> Renata yeah. Mousseau, yeah. as the authority on body language, when you saw that, your first reaction was what? Well, I was a little astonished, to be honest. Uh, the body language of uh, President um, Obama, he's looking down and it almost looks like he touches uh, Governor Like Brewer. he trusts her? He, no, he touches her. Oh, it touches almost her. looks like it. He has the arm down, almost like he would touch her. And he looks down maybe in a way almost to console her or to quiet her down. And <clears throat> her body language is, she has her chin up, her mouth wide open, direct eye contact, but face to face. Normally when you speak to somebody, you're kind of side by side. Mm -hmm. The minute you're face to face direct, then it's always aggressive. I think he's touching her because she just invited him to go to Mexico with her. Uh, and, and there's there's all kinds of possibilities for yeah, conversation yeah, therein. Yeah. Okay, so I, I don't have any idea uh, politically where you stand with an individual or issues or anything, and I don't want to know because then that would tend to color the concept of your interpretation right, of right, body right. language. Do you have to struggle with that, by the way? If it's somebody that you just don't like, do you have to struggle when you interpret their body language? Actually not, because it's neutral and you just observe You can the do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it so... It usually goes with the image, though. When you When you first saw that... Now, this is only mm -hmm. one moment, right, though. You, right. I mean, you're capturing yes. one snapshot. Yes. And you don't know what kind of body language went before or what kind of body language went afterwards. Right. So doesn't that tend to color your interpretation? Well, usually you interpret the body language of the entire body, mm -hmm. not just isolated movements or gestures. Uh, in this case, though, you see the face, you see the hand gesture, you see the eyes focusing right at uh, President Obama and very focused. So you have three or four clusters where you really get a precise idea what is done, what is said. He told Diane Sawyer last night when she said, so, all right, we're looking at this. And I think an awful lot of us are saying, enough already, okay? We, we, there are a few other things to talk about yeah. and a few other issues to deal with right. than what happened on the tarmac between Jan and Barack. Yes. But uh, he, he said, um, uh, uh, Diane Sawyer said, were you intense? And he said, no, in fact, most of the time I'm accused of being less than intense and too relaxed. Yes. What do you think of Barack Obama's general body language uh, when, he, when he's speaking publicly? What you just mentioned, he's very relaxed. He doesn't seem to be nervous ever. Uh, even when people call him a liar, he seems to go right over. He has his chin a little higher than a lot of people, which means pride. It can also mean aggressiveness, depending on the situation. He looks from left to right. If you give speeches, if you're a public speecher, you know that left and right is often ignored to get to people and to have their attention. So he makes a very big point of looking left and right. Like, well, because he's got yeah, the teleprompter versus screens, just, though. Versus he's also just got the teleprompter screens. Yeah, right. And he's reading uh, both of those yes. at the same time. Yes, yes. Uh, he seems to be always rela relaxed. His yeah, gestures maybe he's at too ease. relaxed. Do you think he's too... Uh, there are people who uh -huh. say mm -hmm. he is so relaxed mm -hmm. that people just don't think that he's assertive enough when it comes to mm -hmm. serious issues. 
if I just read his body language, he seems to be just focused in what he has to do next. Mm -hmm. Just by body language. What about Governor Brewer? Governor Brewer, there's one thing I wanted to mention as well. There is a thing which is called proximity, and they are way too close. So, in other words, they invade each other's space, which is, again, a point of aggression. Uh, chin high, like I said, could mean either pride or aggression. Uh, when you have your chin high, you also expose your neck, which mm. is a point of power. If you expose your neck and you have your, your chin high, you're breathing more, it opens your sternum, your shoulders get up higher, therefore you you show a bigger picture of yourself. I think Mrs. Obama is deeply concerned about the exposed neck and, and, and opening up your sternum. Uh, and the proximity alone, yeah. I think, is that's going to be the next picture. Yes. Uh, right? It, an empty tarmac and a plane leaving for Mexico. I, uh, yes. I'm, I'm concerned. Yes. I think that it's an issue. <laughs> Male yes. versus female. Uh -huh. uh, body language in general mm -hmm. always different? Well, yeah, naturally, yeah. Well, why uh, naturally? Well, male and female are different. Uh, we are totally different. But I didn't know that it also applied to body oh, language. Oh, it does, yeah. Male uh, body language is usually a little stronger, a little more domineering. Female body language is always a little more um, feminine, um, more aware of who is across. When you see the Republican candidates mm -hmm. in the debates, yes. Hillary doesn't watch them. I don't know whether you do or not, but I know you can't really escape them. Yeah, yeah. What do you see with at least a, a, a couple of the leading candidates, mm -hmm. Newt and, mm -hmm. and Mitt? Okay. Newt Gingrich, for instance, uses his finger to to point, which is usually done by teachers or parents to give a lecture or to make emphasis on something you just said. But that's a different pointing. It's pointing like, Listen to what I just said, or listen to what will happen. Um, Romney mm -hmm. usually uh, very often looks to the side, but very much to the side. Uh, his eyes really in the corners. Uh, very often he has a look where you see he has his next question or answer ready, so he really focuses on what is said and is ready to answer. You know what this body language means in television? Huh? Means we're out of time. Okay. Right. Okay. But but this means, please mm -hmm. tell people how they can get in touch with you to find out about their body life. Thank you so much. I have an upcoming seminar on the first of February, and it will be in the Hampton Inn, which is on Shea and Scottsdale mm -hmm. Road. Um, and my contact phone number That's is it. right here. Yeah, so we have we have done our part yes. of communicating. Oh, yes. here's body language that I really love. <laughs> Yes. That means we have a comic coming up, mm -hmm. one of my favorites, on the morning scramble. <laughs> it's time now for the CenturyLink question of the day. If you know the answer, be the first correct caller at 602-224-2237 for your chance to win.